Is it always easy to share? Not always, right? But what would you do if someone in your school forgot their lunch money? Or what would you do if someone needed help on a project? Or needed help cleaning up a mess they made during art? Or wanted to use something that belonged to you? In all these situations, we can share. We can share our time, our efforts, and things to help someone. Howdy, partner. Hey, what's up, Rooster? I mean, all good things, I guess. You guess? What's going on? Well, I mean, you know how I like to joke around and stuff. Yeah, and? Well, I mean, all these jokes I like to tell, they don't just come popping up in my small noggin. I mean, I have to remember them from my precious joke book. Okay, what's wrong with that? <laughs> it's gone! It's gone! All my jokes are just done gone! Somebody took it! Wait a second, I know exactly who took it. Howdy, Pettis! So why such a long face there, Rooster? Hey, as a matter of fact, you guys wanna hear a joke? So a horse walks into a church and the preacher asks, why such a long face? <laughs> you get it? Because it's a horse that's got a long face? <laughs> you took my joke book. Give it back! It's mine! I'm the funny guy around here! Not anymore, pal! You should have joined me and my boys a long time ago because being bad ain't all that bad. Plus, I asked if I could borrow it. Can you get that? Me asking to borrow something. Go figure that! But you say no! Well, there can only be one funny guy in this town. It's gonna be me! Hey, that reminds me of a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Rooster. Rooster who? Rooster kick you in the head and get my book back. Uh, I don't get it. Oh. Okay, guys, guys, just calm down. All right, here's the deal. Trick, you should have never taken this book. That wasn't very nice. You didn't make a good choice. <laughs> well, thank you kindly. That's what I'm here for. Leader of bad choices. Trick, just stop. Rooster, I know the joke book belongs to you, but don't you think you could have lended the book over to Trick to borrow? Sharing is a good thing. Yeah, I know, but he would never return it. You're probably right. <laughs> Listen, you're no good at jokes. Your delivery is way off. Guys, just chill. I think I need to share a story with you guys about someone in the Bible who was not only an encourager, but someone who shared what he had. You see, in the book of Acts are some of the first accounts of the first church. The first church came together because believers were sharing the good news about Jesus, about how he came to rescue us from sin. So when these people heard of the great news, they realized that they were given everything they needed, that Jesus was enough. And they felt what they owned was not their own, so they shared everything they had. There were no needy people among them because those who owned land or houses would sell them and bring the money to the apostles to give to those in need. For instance, there was Joseph, which the apostles nicknamed Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He sold a field he owned and brought the money to the apostles. Wow, I mean, that's pretty awesome. To know that all these people were sharing everything they had, like food, water, shelter, clothing, and the best news of all, Jesus. And here I am, whining about lending someone my joke book. Hey, I think you're starting to get it. So Trick, you gonna give his book back? I mean, you could just go home and Google a joke or two. What? What's a, what's a Google? You know what? Just keep it. I think I can find myself another joke book down the road. Well, I'm glad you guys are coming to terms with this whole joke book thing. Hey, how's about I tell a joke? Oh, okay. okay. What did the cowboy say to the pencil? Draw, partner. <laughs> that that was ridiculous. Yeah, that was that was awful. Anyways, remember to share, not just with stuff, but maybe with your time. God can do some incredible things when we choose to share what He has given us. When we tend to hold on to our things, we can make it all about ourselves. So let's live open-handed and be selfless. <laughs>